All right, questions? I basically said that we'd uh, we tried every way uh, known to man to lose it, and uh, <clears throat> just for fun, let's try something different. Let's go ahead and do our job. Let's go ahead and make it look like Wednesday's practice because we've got nothing to lose. Just do your job, do it as fast as you can, and then yeah, you know, then off we went. You know, and that's the thing is. Uh, you know, I think sometimes there's some anxiety going into a game. I don't think, uh, uh, me in particular, but our, our coaching staff, I don't think we had them prepared to play. Not very well. Sure didn't look to me, or we certainly missed a lot because the middle of that game is about as bad as a team can play, and then uh, on all sides of the ball. Um, <clears throat> the end was good, which just does illustrate uh, how good you can be if you uh, – if you play together, all three sides of the ball. So it was a great win. It was a great win. I, uh, from what I understand, it's the biggest comeback in school history, and then it, um, the uh, or it's in there. And then uh, that's why he's here. He'll he'll straighten you out on that. And then um, uh, you know, and we did have contributions. We rose uh, offense, defense, and special teams you know, to win that game. But the thing is, is we squandered an awful lot, and we did it early, and we did it in a bad fashion, too. So I think, um, you know, we got to go back and coach better this next week. Coach, uh, it seemed like in the third quarter, especially towards the end of the quarter, you guys are really going down the field a lot more and working more of that intermediate passing game. Was that just something that had been set up throughout the ball game, or was it just a matter of having some urgency? In the third quarter, um, is that when we were still giving it back to them at every turn? That's when we started to come back. Oh, well, when we started to come back, <clears throat> you know, it wasn't it wasn't really that so much. A starting point was we quit giving it back to them. You know, and, 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 and one of the biggest keys to finishing a drive is don't give the ball back to the other guy. And so I think that was a, a, a critical step for us. The other thing, we went through a period in the third period where, you know, that some guys quit, and uh, we're going to address that. And we're going to look at that on film because if a guy quits, you know that's coaching. Either you got to coach him different, or you need a different guy. And um, so we got to adjust that. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is is I think we, we just played together more consistently. I think it was a series of overcorrections. I think uh, we went out there, and I think we started pretty good. Started the game pretty good. Okay, then. We got up on them, uh, <clears throat> uh, two touchdowns. We felt like, well, this is going to be easy. And so then um, I think there's some of those guys out there that uh, took their foot off the throttle and, um, you know, thought they'd start some screwy victory lap or something stupid like that, which can you imagine doing that against Law Tech, a team that dumps uh, players in the NFL every year and has upset team after team after team, one after the next? And uh, is one of the most brutal brutal teams on earth to uh, play over history, and then but nevertheless, <coughs> we did that, and then um, and then yeah, uh, that, so then it was like uh, uh, you know after we took the foot off the throttle, then I think we panicked, and it was team wide. It wasn't a specific side of the ball. I think it was team wide, <coughs> and then we panicked. And then as we panicked, we tried to make too much happen, and then the, uh, the things just blew up in our face. And then uh, the fourth quarter, when we pulled it up and talked there in the fourth quarter timeout, um, we settled down. We settled down. We played fast uh, uh, for the full quarter, played fast for the full quarter, uh, made up a lot of lost ground, and then... Uh, and I thought really played well uh, that fourth quarter. You now, if we even get a half of that, we're a lot better team. If we get th uh, four quarters of that shit, then we're a great team, you know. But uh, I'll tell you this. One thing that I thought was um, uh, La Tech's, because uh, um, they have a lot of experienced guys. You know, anytime the roster is full of seniors, they got a bunch of seniors. Um, you know, they kind of expose some of our, 
uh, our immaturity. I mean, we're growing, we're getting there, but you know, they kind of played a little bit more like uh, guys that have played a little more football in several phases, I thought. Matt? Coach, what can you say about the resiliency of a young quarterback like Will Rogers to have a tough second and third quarter, but to pick himself off the ground and, and have that kind of performance? Well, I thought I thought that was good. He had some help too, you know. I think uh, in that third, I think he held the ball. Then I think our offensive line got pushed around. You know, I think their three would shove around our five and, you know, steal their lunch money. And then uh, finally, after they didn't have enough lunch money, they got um, they got hungry, so they decided to play. And then, uh, which uh, and then Will figured, well, I better hurry. Uh, and pick uh, pick it up a little bit, and then I don't know. We got in a rhythm, and that's the key. I mean, when you're playing with all eleven, you get in a rhythm. If you play with eight or nine, it's sporadic, you know, because you don't know, you know, you know what part's going to blow. And so then, you know, you get going, and then all of a sudden, you know, something bad happens. So defensively, it seemed like late in the game, you guys were put in some tough spots, held them to field goals to kind of stay in the game there, and then obviously get the stop on that last drive. What do you feel like your unit did late in the game to kind of maintain uh, maintain a presence and keep you guys in the game? Uh, you know, I think that I think they settled in and played, quit giving up the big play. To be honest with you, um, <clears throat> prior to that, we'd get them uh, to third down and or something like that, and then give up a big explosive. You know. And so we, you know, we stopped doing that. And, and both sides of the ball really did the same thing. And I've been in, in deals like this where, you know, one side just plays pathetic and the other side plays really good. Uh, I've never really been in one as clearly defined as this where all three sides played simultaneously bad, almost having a contest who could play the worst, okay? And it, and it was it was fiercely contested too, and then um, and then uh, then all three uh, rise from the ashes together, and I mean all three of them, and because all three sides rose, it's not like all of a sudden, you know, we were struggling on one of the sides or anything. All three of them rose, so you know it was definitely some kind of team wide mentality thing, and that's you know that's why I think uh, I think it's coaching, and I think we got to. Get two to them, and I, you know, it's, it's, it's occasionally it's encouraged, and I think also, you know, we got to strike the fear of God in them. You ever quit in a football game? Uh, you know, you better um, learn how to sell big gulps, or, uh, or, uh, you know, be uh, figure out how to do the backstroke uh, up and down the field, because that's what you're going to be doing. Coach, you mentioned uh, trying to force the action, do too much, and then at the same time they were to hurry in the fourth quarter. How did Will and the others strike that balance of hurrying without forcing? That's a great question. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, if I, if I knew the answer to that, I would have done it the first three quarter. I mean, uh, I, he just settled in and did his job. Says, listen, I've tried to do too much. I've tried to show what a hot shot, uh, big arm, uh, extra clever quarterback I am. I'm just going to put my eyes in the right place and throw the ball uh, where my eyes tell me. And then simultaneously, the receivers went to where they were supposed to be, looked when they were supposed to, and the offensive line blocked. I, I, I think there was more to it than just him, but I think he was a significant part of it. And, um, you know, and I think, uh, uh, you, you know, as bad as he played at times, he didn't really flinch or give in, you know. So I thought that was, you know, the composure to do that I thought was uh, very good. Coach, after they took a 20-point lead is when Tulu had that 70-yard return and kind of sparked. How big of a spark in your mind was that for this team? I thought it was huge, but the thing is, is that was a full unit uh, deal. I mean, because there were some great blocks on that. I mean, great blocks to the point I'm a little curious who missed their block that he didn't score, you know. But no, I mean, uh, it, but as it's going down the field, I saw a number of great key blocks. I mean, because Tulu's not going any further than he had uh, uh, earlier in the game if we're, if we're not blocking like we are on that play. And we blocked really well uh, because I didn't see any of their guys really out of position. I mean, their coaches might have different ideas. But it looked to me like we executed the return 
um, really well, and um, and uh, there were a lot of blocks involved in that. There were a lot of un unsung heroes on that, and you know, Tulu gets the credit for the return, but there are a lot of unsung heroes in the middle of that deal. Um, Mike, what's um, what's morale with this team like on the lot, like on the sideline and whatnot? Because obviously, you know, they you just pulled off the comeback and got a big win, but it was also a game you guys were favored by 23 or such points. Is, is it? Are you guys obviously happy for the triumphant win? Is it kind of, uh, oh, we probably should beat them by a lot larger margin? We have plenty to work uh, on, a hybrid in between? I think right now everybody's very happy that they won. I think, and I, I'd like them to draw a lot of confidence and perspective on how well we can play when we play together. Um, I also think there's a sense that we have a lot of work to do, and I hope there is that sense. And we as coaches got to make sure that they understand that because I'm, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, it only took about two bad series for us to start to give in and act like somehow we're entitled to something. You know, there's a point because, uh, you know, they've been upsetting people for years and um, I can actually rattle some of them off. But um, um, the, uh the, the uh, all of a sudden, um, you know, we act like since we play in some big conference that they have to roll over for us and they're not cooperating. And so, uh, you know, rather than punch it out of them and take it away, you know, we, we think we're going to pout like we're getting screwed or something. Well, I know. No. And, and uh, I don't know. We just got to keep pushing. Uh, while you talk about taking the foot off the throttle and those things, uh, it, were you seeing different looks? What were they doing defensively during that time? Waiting for us to screw up primarily. Um, the biggest thing that they did, um, and I have a lot of respect for them and their team and what they did and stuff like that, and they certainly did make some big plays at key times, and, and I thought they really had some composure out there. Um, you know, the biggest thing is, is that they did, is they, um, they didn't, uh, <clears throat> in their package, they'd been a team that wanted to play, uh, you know, three deep, four deep, and man, okay? And they didn't play man, they, you know, then they, they, they traded out the man, at the different phases of the field, they traded out the man for other things. And, um, you know, uh, then you get into all these terms and everybody calls something different and the term guys drive me crazy everybody does the terms you know say this and if you don't call this coverage the same as the other guy well you're not as smart as that guy even though you know all about what it is uh, but you just don't use the same term it's very grade school that way but suffice it and I hate to even say so they played three cloud in Tampa is what they took the man out for. And um, no, all you got to do is just wait it out and do your thing and execute plays and not get behind the sticks. And I would say most importantly, not give it back to them. And then the penalties, you know, we act like we're getting screwed on penalties. I don't know. I'll have to go look at the film and uh, I'll have to see if that's the case. Um, but I guarantee you we're, we're guilty of some of them. I, 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 it even looked to me like we were. And uh, uh, so, you know, we'll have to go back and look. But you literally saw, I think you saw three games today. I thought you saw the first one where a confident team, probably artificially confident team, an artificially confident team went out there and uh, – you know, started to do some good things. And then an experienced, well-coached team fought back and said, not so fast. Uh, uh, we're going to we're gonna play as hard as we, you know, we're going to play as hard as we can today. Then they did. Okay. And then, um, it, then you saw uh, 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 one team decide they're going to try to figure out a way to give up. And then... Uh, uh, and then, of course, there was some challenging that went on in between there, dare I say threats. And then um, the, uh, well, in the fourth quarter by process of elimination, oh, well, uh, it's, it may not do any good, but we might as well try, which we did. 
and then we won. So you had saw three games. Coach, after the pick six, it, it just kind of felt like it took a lot of the air out of the stadium. How, how do you, what was your message to Will, and how do you kind of keep a young guy like that engaged when it seems like the game might be over? Well, for, he had the guy over the middle wide open. Okay, then the other thing, uh, don't force it in there, throw it out of bounds. Under threw it to the running back, they caught it, and they scored a touchdown. Now, that's going to happen occasionally, but some of what went into that play was awfully symptomatic. Uh, as a team, all sides of the ball, what we were doing at that point in the game. And then, of course, you know, quarterback, uh, re you know, reckless with the ball, then it's particularly costly. What, what did you think about your pace of play um, as far as, you know, the offense, being able to get up to the line quick and run plays? It seemed like Tech was able to do that a few times to catch your defense out of position. Do you want your team to play faster? Do you think you like how the pace of play was or something you think you got to work on going forward? Um, offensively, I thought early in the game um, we were a little slow. Early in the game we were really uh, slow. Uh, about the middle of the game I thought we were embarrassingly lethargic. Like just, uh, yeah, just shamelessly lethargic. Uh, fourth quarter I thought it was about like we want it to look, maybe a, a, a touch quicker, you know, because we, we were working against the clock a little bit. It was maybe a touch quicker, uh, a lot better offensively the fourth quarter. Uh, defensively, um, ah, that early part, it seemed pretty good. I don't know, but I don't know how much hurry up they were doing at that point. But they definitely got big plays on us uh, with their tempo. They definitely got big plays on their tempo. And there's a point to where we either have to call timeout or we have to respond quicker. And then I also thought defensively, you know, we were just like a bunch of slugs out there uh, for the middle of the game. Well, then, uh, um, you know, the fourth quarter, it should be tough for anybody to move it against us. And then it was, you know. All right, thanks.